Now it's concatenating the final video. I guess it's done already. I'm pretty sure it's done. Well, let's listen. Introducing the Lizar C L600 Pro Max, the drone that redefines aerial photography. So yeah, it worked pretty nice. It edited this video, <laughs> generated a TTS audio and put this no copyright music with it. <laughs> very, very nice. So Google released this Gemini CLI, but this is old news already. So uh, let's see what it can do. I was trying here and it's pretty impressive. It converted these images for me into PNG. I'm gonna show it later how it did and made this video for me, removed the original audio, created a TTS, a text to speech voice and put it all together. <laughs> but that was bad. This one was better. It used a no copyright music. I put it here and uh, I installed Kokoro TTS and it was able to use it. And it's pretty good actually. Look at this. Introducing the Lizard C L600 PRO MAX drone. Its folding fuselage design makes it incredibly portable. Unfold it and it's ready to fly. So it's pretty good and this is the music it put it there so It adjusted the volume so the music doesn't overpower the voice. So pretty smart. Well, let's see it working. I'm gonna show how to install it later. Let's first try the images. So let's open the terminal. If you install it correctly, it should appear after you type Gemini. There it is. Let's try it. Here it shows where it is. So in this case, desktop and folder one. So let's try converting these images into JPEGs. As you can see, they are all PNG because I converted them into PNG before. Convert all the images on this folder into .jpg, correct? Let's try it. It's in this folder, so should work. Sometimes it will prompt you to allow an execution like this. So let's allow it. Oh, it's converting. Okay. <laughs> Oh, there it is. Now it's asking me to remove the original PNG files. Let's say OK. It asking me to allow. I'm going to just say yes for all. Yes. So it removed. So all JPEGs now. <laughs> nice. Let's try something different. Convert all the images from this folder into black and white. <laughs> okay, it worked. They are all black and white now, except for this one. Don't know what happened. Oh, it's here. Okay, it's here. <laughs> so it worked pretty nice. So it can edit images, but let's try the actual fun part, editing videos. This is the most tedious thing you can do, edit videos. <laughs> yeah. So if this can do automatically, well, video editors, rest in peace. <laughs> so I have a prompt here already. So the prompt is analyze this video file in this folder to include any file you need to put this and make a TTS script that perfectly fits into the video length and content. Remove the video original audio and generate TTS audio using the Kokoro TTS located in the desktop. And I specified how to use it and concatenate the video with the newly generated TTS and the soundtrack that already is in the same folder with this name. Also generate an SRT for the captions. So it's all here. Let's see if that works. It worked before. So let's try it. <laughs> Warming up AI hamsters. <laughs> Why do Java developers use glasses? Because they don't see. <laughs> they don't see sharp. Okay. So let's allow it. Okay. So it generated the script and the captions. Yes, let's see if it can use Kokoro. It got an error, but it's figuring out. Let's see. 
Okay, so finally, it's doing the TTS. It created the file. Okay, so now it's going to concatenate all together, I guess. Let's allow it. It's generating the video with no audio. So it's removing the original audio from this one. So it's correct. I asked it for it. Now it's concatenating the final video. I guess it's done already. I'm pretty sure it's done. Oh, well, let's listen. Introducing the Liz RC L600 Pro Max, the drone that redefines aerial photography. Its compact folding fuselage makes it the perfect travel companion. With just one click, it takes off and is ready to fly. Equipped with GPS and optical flow double position. So yeah, it worked pretty nice. It edited this video, <laughs> generated a TTS audio and put this no copyright music with it. <laughs> very, very nice. Okay, I will try one more thing. Let's ask to build an app. Build me a calculator app in Python. Okay, so it generated the Python file here. Nice. Oh, it finished. <laughs> that was fast. Let's see if it works. Moment of truth. Oh, I think I forgot to specify that it should have a PyQt UI, but I guess it works. Let's try adding an UI in PyQt. Okay, here is the calculator. <laughs> Plus two equals four. Nice. Pretty nice. So it created an app for me. So the Gemini CLI can edit images videos and create apps for you. <laughs> what about that? Is that good enough or not? But how to install it? Here are the instructions. You're going to have to install Node.js. But first, you need to install Git. Otherwise, you're going to get an error. So just go here. And if you have Windows, just download and click Next until you install it. If you have Linux, you just need to sudo apt install git. That's it. But I already have, so I don't need it. And the Node.js. So if you have Linux, you just copy and then paste in the terminal one by one. So this one first, click enter, this one, click enter, and then you test to see if it is working. So here, this is the version. Perfect. So let's try this one. Yes, it's correct. And this one. So that's all you're going to need. Copy one by one and paste into the terminal. If you have Windows, you just select Windows here and do that in the PowerShell. Pretty simple. Now that you have both, you just need to run this or better yet, run this one. So this one is going to install it globally. So every time you type Gemini, it will appear here. Otherwise, if you just use this, it, you're gonna have to use this every time. So that's it. That's all you need to do. But for editing images, and the video, uh, if you don't have anything else installed and you ask those questions, the Gemini might want to install it, like FFmpeg, for example. So there it is. I have FFmpeg. For the image editing, it asked me to install, I think, image magic, I guess. Well, I can't access by here, but it asked me to install image magic as well. But uh, it will show here it will try to install it if it has the privileges. However, when I try to install it, it, it just didn't have the pseudo privileges. So it didn't install it. And I can't just type sudo Gemini because it won't work. Okay. It won't work. So what I did is I gave my password. <laughs> So in this case, it's easy in this machine. It's just one, two, three, just for playing. I highly recommend you install this on a virtual machine because you don't want this running in a computer. You have personal information. <laughs> Please use a virtual machine. However, uh, in this machine, I just do, I just do the tests and I have nothing else to do here. So I gave my password and it refused to use my password. However, eventually it used it. I don't know why it decided to use it. <laughs> so it installed image magic automatically, but it, it took a while. This is not a test for how long it takes to edit videos or images, but a test to see if it can. And it definitely can. This is 
only going to get better and video editors and image editors jobs are doomed. So that's it. Gemini CLI does the work for you. 